So, Caleb, is it a myth or mystery, fact or fiction, that you have to disconnect the battery on a car when you're welding? Uh, it's a myth. It's a myth? Yes. So we say it's fiction? Yes, you don't have to disconnect the battery. You don't have to disconnect the battery. Yes, you do not. Now, I've heard this a million times from other places, but we never disconnect the battery while we're welding to the exhaust system or if I'm welding to the frame or the chassis, I don't do it. If you're welding close to the computer or on the computer chassis that's metal and you arc the computer, yeah, for sure as shit, you're gonna blow that computer up. So if you're welding near the computer or modules, you definitely wanna disconnect the battery um, and maybe even take the modules out of the car uh, to prevent, you know, uh, damage because when you're welding to the car welding on a vehicle it's sending voltage throughout the vehicle believe it or not you don't see it i've welded on some cars that had some probably weak grounds and uh and actually we can get the injectors to actually pulse a little bit and dump fuel into the uh combustion chambers and then when you start it up it uh pumps out a little raw fuel. And that doesn't happen all the time. I've had it happen on very few vehicles, but it is weird. If the grounds are not good, it's enough voltage to make the coil and the injectors rattle a little bit and drip a little bit of fuel. That's probably the worst I've ever seen, but if you're welding inside a vehicle, and your computers and modules, you definitely want to disconnect the battery and maybe even take them out. But do you have to disconnect the battery while you're welding? The exhaust system, no, you do not. Thanks for watching.